Hello everyone, in this video we're going to talk about animated slide transition using Morph in PowerPoint. And I'm actually going to show you a couple of transitions. The first one, I have the presentation up right now. I'm going to transition from this title slide to a different title slide using the character Morph. So you can see that effect. It changes the letters from one slide to another slide. It moves them around and that's called the character Morph. Now the real effect that I want to show you is, suppose this is a slide, a header slide in one of my PowerPoint presentations, and I want to show a bullet point list. Now I don't want to use bullets, I want to use some smart art, and so I'm going to transition into the smart art right there. It's seamless, it's an animated effect. Now this is something that you could do without the morph transition, using only animations and text boxes and shapes, but it's so much easier using the morph transition, and that's what I'm going to show you right now. So let's back out of this slide and I'm going to show you my three slides right here. Now the first one, in order to get this, I'm going to copy that text and I'm going to duplicate this slide. So now I have that duplicated and I'm going to replace the text with what I just copied, which is the animated slide using Morph and Transition. On slide two, I have the Morph set but I want to make sure that the effect options are characters because none of the words are the same. So if I click on words, then all it will do is fade out of one slide and fade into another slide, and there are no objects on the screen. But when I click on characters, then you can see the preview and the characters align. Some of the characters have to fade in because there is no Y in the other slides and there's no capital T, and so those have to appear, but whatever can appear uh, using the existing characters will be rearranged. And so that's one way that you can get that slide. Um, now I'm going to delete all of these slides and we're going to start from scratch and build out the other interaction. I'm going to start with a regular title and content slide. And for the title, I'll put types of learning theories and I'm going to put some bullet points. So this is my slide. I'm going to dress it up a little bit. Maybe I'll change the font, the colors, and for the bullet points, what I'm going to do is convert these to SmartArt. So you click on this, on the Home tab, you can convert to SmartArt. And as I hover over, you can see different effects. And the effect that I want to show you is this one with arrows, but you can choose from various. You can even click on more SmartArt graphics, and you can see a list of many different SmartArts. What that's going to do is convert my bullet points into an image. And I can edit this afterwards as well. But I'm going to select on this. I'm going to hold Control shift and G, or I can right click. What I'm doing is ungrouping this. And you're going to have to do it a couple of times because it's grouped multiple times. I'm going to do that one more time and so that I have each of the components of my page here. I'm going to zoom out. I'm zooming out by using holding Control down on the keyboard and using the scroll wheel on the mouse. And I'm going to move these elements off screen. First, I'm going to duplicate this because I have this how I want it. I'm going to duplicate it, and we'll apply the morph transition there. I'm going to move these just slightly off screen. I'm going to align them. I'm using the guides in PowerPoint to align them with each other. And this one, I will align these by their height, and I'll just select all of these, and I'm going to distribute them evenly. It doesn't really matter. And then with this arrow, I'm just going to move this off to the side. I'm going to hold shift down so that it's a straight line. I'm going to move it way off to the side. Now with the morph transition, essentially it's going to morph. I'm going to rearrange those because this is the end phase and I'm, I'm working on the, the beginning phase. The farther something has to travel to get onto the page, the faster it will travel. And if something's just off screen, it's not going to have to travel as fast to get from point A to point B. Now I'm going to zoom back in. You'll notice that on the example, I have this centered. So I'm going to put this right in the middle of the page. Uh, maybe I'll go ahead and increase the size a bit, and I want types of learning theories. Maybe I'll just enter a return, and for learning theories, I want to color that something a little bit different, maybe dark blue, just to kind of emphasize those words. All right, so I have types of learning theories, and I want to go from this page with everything off screen to this page where everything will be on screen. And I want the header, the title of the slide to be more subtle up at the top. So now I have that, I'm going to click on transitions and I'm going to morph, but in the effects options, I want to highlight those words and click on words. And so I'll get a nice effect like that. Let me preview this. So we jump from this slide, types of learning theories, and then I get a nice clean animation that only took me a moment to make. 